The face of UK's recruiting class for next season is quarterback Jaron Williams out of Georgia. He posted on Twitter that he was offered by Ohio State Wednesday night, and even the crystal ball picks appear to be swaying towards the Buckeyes. Williams says he's fully committed to UK. Kentucky will be back in Kroger Field on Saturday, hosting an Ole Miss team that's 3-5 and five overall, 1-4 and four in the SEC. Kentucky is already bowl eligible with four games to play. It's, it's pretty big because the last couple of years, you know, that was just been our main focus, you know, just getting bowl eligible, making to a bowl game. And, you know, we accomplished that last year, and we got it out of the way this year. And, you know, it's just our relief. You know, we got bigger goals and bigger plans. And, you know, just getting bowl eligible is just one thing we can scratch off our list. Now the U.K. basketball team has one more exhibition game tomorrow night at 7 against Center College. Coach Cal would like to have more practice time with his team. If you step back and look at the big picture, though, this huge learning curve is happening. These players are very calm about the process, which helps. Assistant Coach Joel Justice enjoys watching this team grow. We go to practice every day, and it's fun. And, and that's where I, I think with, with this team and we think with this team, I, I think that the fans are going to, and they should, you know, come to games, you know, really with a with an appetite to to see a, a team that's going to grow. And, and every game and every time out, it's it's going to happen right before your eyes. Center had fun today with this video, with each player talking about how many points they might score against Kentucky. You can see it being tallied up in the left corner. By the time it was done, it was over 400 points combined. They are seriously though looking forward to going up against two Wildcats. Six maybe. Kevin Knox, he's been playing really well in the preseason. I'm looking forward to try to you know uh, b battle from down low in the post. Uh, I think it'll be a lot of fun. I'm gonna say Diallo just because he has he's number three, same number as me, and uh, he also has a real high vertical leap. So it's gonna be interesting to watch him play. A UK freshman Jamal Baker is expected to miss three months after going through knee surgery. He was expected to be one of the top shooters for the Wildcats. The UK women will get in their only exhibition game this Sunday when they play Indiana, uh, rather Southern Indiana, at seven o'clock. It's a chance for Matthew Mitchell to see what he has going into the season. What we'll be looking for out of this game is uh, to see where we are and what kind of progress we've made this week. So. You know, we had a chance um, to scrimmage some last weekend, and, and, and we really came out of that seeing some areas we needed to work on as far as our tempo and our pace and our effort, and that's where we're wanting to see some progress made against Southern Indiana. They held a topping out ceremony at the new UK baseball stadium today. That basically means they placed the last steel beam on the highest point of the stadium. An achievement, but still a ways to go to finish. It's one thing to look at it on paper, right? It's another thing to do the virtual tour of it, and then it's a whole other thing to actually put your feet inside of it. So the fact that we've been able to do that now and walk through it, it's way bigger than I would have ever imagined. Just walking through our team room and our locker room, um, the batting cages, the pitching mounds, like the area, it's just it's really amazing to be able to walk in the dugout and just actually go, all right, it's probably where I'm going to be standing, right? Like this is it. Well, West Jessman soccer played in the state semifinal tonight against Sacred Heart at Lafayette. Down one nothing. Colts had a great chance with the corner kick. The shot attempt, ah, just a little high there. Now, we had to leave at this point, but West Jess tied it up, and they came back to win. 6-5 in penalty kicks for a 2-1 victory. They play Notre Dame for the title Saturday at 7 o'clock. LEX 18 News. We'll be right back.